It's December 1st, so that means it's the holiday season. And what better things to do than, you know, spend time with family, go on vacation, indulge in some good food and entertainment. But uh, what do software developers do? Program. Today's day one for the Advent of Code, and if you don't know, the Advent of Code is kind of like an advent calendar, but instead of getting chocolate every day to, you know, fill you with joy and happiness, we essentially get two leak code problems, which get harder as the days go by. Sounds like a fun time. I'm like no! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 No, but in seriousness, it, this sounds like a pretty cool thing. I've never actually participated in it myself. And shout out to Jason for reminding me about this. So Jason, if you're watching this, thank you. So Advent of Code has been going on for a numerous amount of years now. It was actually founded by the guy who created vanilla JavaScript, I believe. It's kind of like a big story that, you, that you're doing. So they're all kind of linked together from what I understand. I've never actually participated it, in it myself. But maybe that'll change this year, at least day one, it will change and we'll see if I have time for the rest. Okay, so I just uh, created my account for uh, the admin of code and uh, let's see how it goes. I'm the elf carrying the most calories. How many total calories is that elf carrying? Get your puzzle input. Okay. First, we're gonna copy all that data into a text file. Day one dot txt, um, and we're just simply gonna paste all the data in. All right. Next, I guess I have to decide what language I want to use. So let's let's do some Python. Why not? Uh, might as well call it. Uh, is d1.py okay to call? Should I do proper? Touch d1.py. Let's open this in uh, Visual Studio Code. Look, I know what you're thinking. I'm not using dark mode right now. And there's a reason for that. Um, but we can quickly switch it. Uh, let's go this one. So what do we want to do? So our goal is how many how many total calories is the elf is that elf carrying? Okay, so I really quickly wanted to explain to you guys what the story is. So there's these elves that are going on on a trek through the jungle to collect these stars, and since they're going by foot, they carry their food on them and so they want to keep inventory of how much food that they're carrying so they write down the number of calories each meal has that they're carrying on a list and they have it written in a very specific order this is an example of how they've written how the elves have written their list down so we can see that each elf only writes the number of calories that each of their item contains and then when they give it to a new elf they leave a new line they leave a break in between to distinguish oh so this is the next elf so if you were to read this list it would go these two items belong to elf one uh we know he has two items and then the total would be 100 calories on the elf and then we see, oh, new line, and then we go, okay, new line, so it means another new elf. So what our question asks is to find the elf that has the max amount of calories, So, but we can create a list to store the number of calories that each elf has. So what we would do is, okay, we're on line number one, we have 50, we, we check, oh, does this elf have another item? So we go to the next line, we check, oh, if it's not a new line, then we know to add this number onto this number. So then we get 100. 
Then we go to the next line, we see, oh, it's a new line, therefore let's add this to a list, right? So 100 is the maximum number of calories that one, the first elf had, another 200, add that on 500. Then we go to the next line, oh, it's a new line, which means that there's gonna be another elf. So we should add this 500 total to our list. And so once we get all the elves, we can just go through the list and find the maximum number. In this case, it would be 500. And then we could return this value right here. So we're going to create a calorie counter and then we're going to create uh, an array to hold them. And then we want to open the file. So with open and it's d1.txt and we want to open it in read mode. We want to open it as uh, input and then we want to get every line from the input. So for each line in input and if the line is not a new line, uh, then we can just add the number of calorie to, to the calorie counter. So cows to Otherwise, all we do is um, of cal dot append. So we want to append it to the list, like the total amount of calories. Um, cal, and then we want to make cal equal to zero. Um, so this accounts for everything except the last uh, elf. So elf cal dot append cal. I want to print the max of cal because we want to get the greatest number of calories that an elf carries. So we can just save that. So we get this as our number. It's the right answer, boys. Find the top three elves in the simple change here. Um, so we want to sort the list. So elf cal sort, and then we want to reverse the sort because so that we get it in greatest to least, and then we can just take the first three numbers uh, in the list. So then we do top three. Equal um, elf cal zero. So this the, this takes from the first plus elf cal one plus elf cal two. So we take the first three numbers, we add them together, and then we can print top three elves. And then we get we get this. That's it, we've, uh, we've completed day one. Some exciting stuff, I guess. Not too bad.